Next up, we find out exactly what makes grown men howl. Uh, well, no one was more comfortable sort of just being on screen and being voluptuous and beautiful than Sophia. She's just a very womanly looking woman to begin with, as many Italian women are. But she has a, a, an extraordinary face. It's the kind of face that, that every man in the world wants to kiss. It's the look in the eyes, it's the lips. Almost Egyptian looking, uh, almost a Cleopatra kind of regal quality about her face, uh, you know, drop dead body. And then she wins the Oscar for a gripping, gritty European art film. Uh, for those of us of a certain age, uh, a pretty irresistible combination. <laughs> Mainly, it's her overall look. Once again, you take it apart and you say, well, her nose is too big, or what, something, her ass is too big, or whatever. Put it all together and it makes for a very great deal of excitement below the waist. I think it was all about um, <laughs> bosoms. It was an older version of Angelina Jolie in the sense of it just being hot womanly flesh. And she was always the object of desire for all of her leading men. But despite not getting the Hollywood roles she deserved, Sophia received an honorary Oscar in 1991 and was declared one of the world's cinema treasures. I think she's close to 70 now, and she's still on screen looking very good, having started when she was 19. The only example I can think of that has managed to have sex appeal for 50 years on the screen is Sophia. Sweet.